Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rakesh Gupta. I'm Salesforce MVP Hall of Fame and co-host of Automation Hour. I post content around PowerAuth, Apex, Lightning Web Component, CRM Analytics, Salesforce Releases, and Salesforce Flows. If you want to learn these topics, please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my blog. In today's video, we will learn how you can write custom validations rule using record trigger flows. But first, what is the validation rule? Validation rule help us to improve the data quality. For example, if opportunity amount is more than $10,000, then opportunity next step field is required. And validation rule allow you to refer the field from the parent record. But what about if you want to refer a field from the chain record? Well, let's start with the scenario. So the scenario here is you want to make sure that there is only one open opportunity exists on an account. So if someone is trying to create another opportunity on that account and the account already have an open opportunity, then display an error message. So out of the box, this is not possible with the validations rule. Yes, it is possible with the before save flows, but you have to create some additional metadata fills and validations rule. But after winter 24 release, which is API version 59, it is now possible to handle this without creating additional metadata. So let's start with it. So first thing is first, you have to understand when to use before versus after. Because this is the scenario where we want to validate the data on the same object, you have to use a before save flows. You are not trying to update the related records or send trying to send an email alert, which is the scenario for an after save. So let's start with the before save flows on opportunity when created or updated. Then let's use a decision element to decide whether the record is created or updated. So when record ID is null true, means record is just created and it's not yet saved to database. Then we are using a get record element which is basically allow you to write a sort of queries to find the records from the database so on the object we are saying hey give me all opportunity where account id is matching with the current account id and it is open and give me all record next uh we want to check if the get record element return any record or not this is the best practice if you want to perform any dml operations or any other operations make sure that you check if the get record return any record or not if get record is null false means there are some record exist. If yes, then we want to display an error message to you just saying, hey, there is another open opportunity exists on this account, so you may want to use that. So click here and select the custom error. This is a newly introduced component, so let's element from Windows 24 release. Now you can select where you want to display the message at the top of the page or below to the fills, and you can select the fills here as well. But in this case, we want to display at the top of the page and you can write them down the message the one that you want to display to your users. Once done, make sure that you activate it. So now in this case here, I already have an open opportunity on this account, which is this. So let me create another opportunity on this account. And you see here, the error message that we defined is here and user is blocked to move forward. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions and thanks for watching this video.